All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about what is probably the most beautiful survival knife that I have. This is one that I'm almost not even wanting to really use as a survival knife, but rest assured, it will see some dirt time for sure this summer. And uh, it is just a gorgeous knife. And not only is this a gorgeous knife, this is a knife that I've wanted for quite some time. Not necessarily in this variation, but what we're looking at here is an infamous Bark River Knives Strike Force 2. And Bark River, I get so much, you know, controversial feedback. I've personally owned over a dozen Bark Rivers and I do realize that, you know, people say, you know, they're you know, not quality, they're not well made. And for me, in my opinion, I've never had a Bark River that was poorly made. Of course, it is worth noting that all of these are handmade. So they are semi-custom knives. Um, some of them are full customs actually, but some of them are either custom to semi-custom. So, you know, I think a lot of people's complaints and grievances with Bark River knives is the fact that these are not, you know, machine made. So, you know, this, for instance, fuller here is not, you know, exactly symmetrical on both sides, right? So a lot of people are like, oh, it's poorly made. And for me, so long as there's no functional or, you know, like no actual legitimate issue with the knife, like this knife is you know, completely fine. There's no damage to it. There's no, you know, just absolutely grossly, you know, misground blade um, or something like that, you know, or bad heat treat or, you know, blade that breaks. For me, I don't really have an issue with it because once again, I understand that these are handmade. It's kind of like picking up a Bark River, or sorry, a um, Grenfers Brooks, a Wetterlings, a Holtfors, um, a Holtzbrook uh, axe and expecting machine-like precision out of those. Some are machine-made, but by and large, most of them are being handmade, hand-forged. So there's going to be, you know, little imperfections in it and that's just the reality of the knife that being said this thing is still incredibly well made and from everything that i can see about this knife i have no real issues now to be fair when using actual real wood you can run into some issues with handle breakage but once again that's due to the fact that wood is a very temperamental material that's why you don't really see many wood handles on any of my knives i think i have like a total of three or four knives that have wood as the handle material material. But anyways, that aside, let's actually talk about this knife. So like I said, this is the Strike Force by Bark River, or Strike Force 2, I should say. This is the larger version of the Strike Force. And this is a really interesting, very much more a tactical style blade, but I would say something like a fighting utility style blade. And for me, I have always loved this just ever so slight recurve. You guys know I'm a sucker for recurves. So I love this just ever so slightly, very gentle recurved blade there. And then of course you have your very prominent swedge or upper swedge on the top. So once again, this is definitely leaning more towards tactical than um, survival, but still a very practical blade for wilderness use. In addition to, you guys probably noticed it's in CPM 3V. You guys know that I love my CPM 3V. The majority of my survival and bushcrafting knives that are my frontline blades are going to, make, going to be made in CPM 3V because I just love the toughness and shock resistance of CPM 3V. It's a very good medium. It's not necessarily the best steel out there, but it is good in a number of ways. Now, this one in particular, like I said, it gets a little bit more showy because it does use the more premium steel. These uh, originally came in A2 tool steel, but this one, of course, is in CPM 3V. And then you have these Thulia or Thula, Thua, uh, burl wood here. Not sure how to pronounce the, the wood name, but it is a burl wood. And then, of course, you have those lovely mosaic pins right there. So I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous and really pretty. You also have some black micarta liners just to kind of finish off the aesthetic of this blade. It is very pretty. I really do like it. Um, like I said, this is one that I like sit there and I'm like, gosh, I don't even really want to use it because it's so gorgeous. But as always, you know, I do get my knives to use. And even if they are beautiful, they are still users. So this one is no exception to that. But I do think it will do well. It has a very high convex grind as is Bark River's tradition for grinds and so it should perform very well. I'm very curious to see how the recurve does but this is more than anything a knife. The Strike Force um, is a knife that I've wanted for a long time and like I said I saw a very beautiful version this one in particular and was like you know what I really really do want one of these. So I've wanted one for years but I definitely found a very cool very beautiful version of the 
uh, strike force too. So once again, um, when it comes down to it, very practical, albeit very beautiful, but very functional. So I definitely like it. I do like the sheath as well. This is very similar to the Bark River Knives Cub, but I will say this one actually fits in this sheath a lot better because this has a much wider handle and it's just an overall bigger knife. So there's a lot better friction fit here. You guys can hopefully tell I'm trying to pull this knife out, but you know, like it's not just gonna rattle out of here. It's not just gonna fall. So unlike my um, Cub that has a very similar sheath to this, this one is much better fitment uh, or has much better fitment to it. And I think fits it very nicely. So that is the Bark River Knives Strike Force 2. It is a very beautiful knife, but it's also one that I've wanted for years because once again, I am a sucker for um, recurved blades and I love the overall size of the Strike Force 2. I think it's very useful for survival applications. And so once again, this is kind of one of those knives that not only is it very gorgeous and very nice to look at, but it's also one that is very practical to use for the most part. I mean, some people might say, you know, look at this um, kind of fuller, if you will, this two-sided fuller and be like, ah, oh, that's definitely, definitely for style. And it is. But uh, as far as the actual blade, like the cutting edge goes, as far as the blade shape goes, um, definitely more practical or on the more practical side. The only thing I will say that's not quite super practical is you do have two lanyard holes. So I ended up putting my lanyard on the external lanyard hole right here, um, whereas you do have this lanyard hole right here. So for me, this one's more stylistic because it's very small um, and this one's obviously far larger and it's a slot. So you get some movement in your lanyard, but um, yeah, so that's a little bit of a kind of like quirky feature to the knife because you have two lanyards, but as far as the actual knife goes itself, very cool. And it is an overall solid piece. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the kind of quick look at the Strike Force 2. It is one that you guys will see in rotation and and uh, yeah, it's just a fun knife I've wanted for a long time. And so I'm very happy to be able to add it to my collection. Anyways, guys, as always, hopefully you enjoyed the video. God bless and I'm out.